What if my spouse hires an a-hole lawyer for my divorce? Hi, I'm Bill Farias, founder of Farias Family Law. And I'm gonna start by saying that the majority of our colleagues in family law practice are good people. They're attorneys who are trying to do the right thing, trying to do what's best for their clients. But there are a select few that can be very, very difficult to deal with. And these are attorneys who inject chaos into the case, make a mountain out of a molehill. We don't understand why they do it. We don't know if it's personal issues spilling into their practices or if they're just trying to make things complicated so that they can bill more on cases. But this is a reality, it does happen. And unfortunately, some people get stuck having to deal with an attorney like this on the other side for their divorce. So if that's you, how do you approach it? So the first thing I would say is that you have to make sure you're in the right frame of mind to deal with this. You have to fix your mindset. You have to understand going in that the case will likely cost you more money to get through and it will take longer. And that's because these attorneys can make things very difficult. They make issues very difficult to resolve. Sometimes it's difficult to get anything done and so you're constantly having to wait to get before a judge to address issues which takes longer, which costs more money. So you have to come to terms with the fact that things just aren't going to be as easy as they should be. And having that expectation going in is going to make it easier to absorb as it's happening. If the attorney is completely out of control um, and there are ethical violations, then you can ask for attorney fees, but that's very rare because a lot of these attorneys know how to toe the line so that they are causing chaos in a case, but not to the extent where they are going to get in trouble for it. So that very rarely happens and you shouldn't rely on getting attorney fees. So expect that it'll take longer and it'll cost more money. What you want to do is you want to come up with a plan with your attorney. I think just talking to your attorney about this is going to ease some of the stress. These attorneys often require a different approach and so you want to make sure that you are comfortable with how your attorney is handling this. The other thing you want to do is you want to stay focused on your goals and do not get wrapped up in the emotion. Oftentimes these attorneys win because they cause the party on the other side to just completely lose faith in the process and to essentially give up and say, okay, I'll give you everything you want, just please leave me alone. So you don't wanna fall into that category, especially when you have a lot on the line. If you have children, there's a lot of money on the line. You don't wanna compromise yourself to just get rid of this uh, lawyer and just to get the case closed out. I mean, certainly if it's cost effective and it makes sense for you to do so, uh, then certainly you wanna do that. But you don't wanna just cave in uh, and be overwhelmed by emotion and just quit. So. You need to focus on your goals and you're gonna discuss those with your attorney and you're going to um, prioritize your wellness, take care of yourself, meditate, put yourself in a frame of mind where you're able to uh, sort of absorb the nonsense and stay focused on your goals and you will get through it. If you have any other questions, you can call us at 508-675-0464. You can email us at info at fariusfamilylaw.com. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to our channel and share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. And you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Farius Family Law. Thank you, have a good day.